Okay, so welcome back to another video and today we've got our new drawing tablet from Vic. This is their new Vic VK640. It's an upgrade from their Vic S640 which has no buttons which this does have. So right off the bat, I just want to say that they did send me this tablet for free. But, this, but that doesn't stop me from giving an honest opinion about this drawing tablet. So yeah, let's check check it. So first off, we have our generic brown box to protect it from shipping. It didn't come with any bubble wrap and I'm really... I really like that concept because I don't like wasting plastic at all. So inside we have another box which is this is actually the actual box of the tablet and let me just put this off to the side so yeah we have our tablet here it says vk vk640 and an actual picture of the tablet right here uh it says free your mind that's i think that's their motto by the way, uh, when this was shipped, it was actually sealed, so don't worry. I did use this for a couple of times to draw my thumbnail and to also test it. Because I, I was so excited, I couldn't wait at all. So, it says, specifications are dimension 232 by 152 by 8 millimeter and the pressure sensitivity is 8192 levels and the pen is actually battery free what that means is you don't really have to charge it so that's a good sign the working area is 6 by 4 inches so that's pretty good that's okay for drawing and that's actually redundant for osu because you don't need that much surface area and the report rate is 250 rps or 250 reports per second and the resolution is 5080 lines per inch and so yeah it's a uh, simple usb it's in black so yeah you have everything you need to know right here so when we open it we will be greeted by this wonderful foaming on th on the top of the box i don't yeah, that's a good addition to protect the tablet. Right here we have our free glove. So that's pretty good. Good. They provide that as well. So let's put that off to the side. We have our We have our tablet here. Uh let's check this out later. Let's see what's behind the tablet first. So, there. So here we have our pen. It's actually, it actually comes with a beautiful case. It is foam. And it's good enough to protect the pen. So inside we have our battery free pen there's two programmable fully programmable buttons and the pen is actually what i think about is is it's light i think it's lighter than a mechanical pen of course it's not that light that it would affect your drawing much but it's pretty good what i think about it is it's pretty good to be honest so we have our manuals quick start guide from Vic, and yeah we also have our driver and our thank you card so you you can scan this qr code or you can type the link directly on your computer and download the driver and here is are some extra nibs and a simple nib remover so they also provide that 
Actually, I'm actually pretty impressed with how many nibs came with this tablet. So there's at least 20, including the one on this stand, the ones on this stand, and we have our OTG adapters. So we have our USB Type C OTG adapter. And for the other one, we have our micro USB OTG adapter because this tablet can actually connect with your phone and you can draw on it from the get go. You don't even need to install some drivers, unlike what you would do from your computer. So that's pretty good. Here we have the bottom half of our pen stand. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nibs extra. That's an additional from this side, aside this one. And we have our top half of the stand. There you go. You can stand, put it there and take your pen. Display it stylishly. Doesn't really, it doesn't grip the surface much because it doesn't have rubber, but for a 35 dollar tablet it's not bad you can't complain all right now for the main event we're gonna look at our tablet so don't worry about plastic uh it's kind of what do you call that wrinkled because i I've, I've been taking it off and on since yesterday i've been using it so yeah don't worry about it we have our tablet here and starting uh, for the start I just want to say my complaint and that's with a USB USB cable it's non removable so if this cable ever breaks you can't really replace replace it so I mean it's it's a nitpicking opinion but it's it's all right it's doable it's still usable you know we have our one two three four five six fully programmable buttons so you can map any keys on that if you wanted to so yes and we have our six inches by four inches active area so let's let me get my pen what it means is you can only draw on this on this dotted surfaces the 6 by 4 inch area if you go any farther than that you can't really it's not gonna it's not gonna send any feedback so yes so yeah uh, we'll head over to the computer and I'll show you how to download the driver for this tablet and also I'll show you some uses for this some clips that i filmed using this tablet drawing my thumbnail so yeah see ya okay so when once you plug in your tablet you just want to start off by uh going to your browser and type in Vic driver downloads and then go to their official website vic.com and you will see their driver list for for Windows or for Mac you have it all in here and S640 to A30 to A50 A50 and so on and we have the VK640 so once you've downloaded that which I've already did and hold up launch the application and here it is so we have your click sensitivity you can 
can customize that to your liking we have our pen and erase or two customizable buttons we can change that to whatever we want that's this and this and we have our mapping I set it for mouse for now since I'm not used to the pen option you can either map your monitor or you can also map your working area so let's say you want to customize and you just wanna that and that that big whatever you want or you can punch in your numbers but I think the uh, one flow with the driver is there's no offset limiter so you'd have to configure your sizes manually for 16 by 9 if you have that kind of monitor which I do you can also enable Windows Ink function I have it off for now and here we have all your hotkeys so I have my K1 for undo zoom out uh, zoom in and control shift Z or redo and we have our key 5 which is B our brush and H which is our hand tool so so yeah we're just gonna test it on some osu and tell you what I think about it okay so it's been a day and uh, I've practiced a little bit of osu for a day and this is my progress after two oh no 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 just one day of playing okay so I can tell you much that this tablet definitely has some hardware smoothing but it's very little like it's very similar to the S640 because they both have the 640 in their name so that makes sense kind of but unfortunately Hoku does not support it yet so some driver smoothing is still present but I don't think it's that bad I mean I could play with it I played good with it so yeah you can see my gameplay it's actually fine I'm actually doing better than how I'm doing with my mouse so that's a pretty good deal for me you can see I I miss some jumps here and there but overall everything's fine it's also very comfortable to use And so we'll check out the pressure sensitivity. We'll check the pressure pressure sensitivity. So we just go like oh, we just go like that to this, and then that and this. Everything seems to be working. Yep, there we go. So let's go to the time lapse. So here we are in Photoshop. This is my quick time lapse for when I drew my thumbnail. And here you can see that uh, I'm not really a good drawer or a good <laughs> a good artist, not a drawer. Jesus. I'm not really a good artist, so you can see I'm having difficult times doing straight lines, but that's that's not the tablet's problem that's mainly my problem and then here you can see me change brushes because I don't know what to use I'm such an amateur it's I think it's my first or second time trying digital art and drawing in, ge in general so yeah you can actually see the smoothing on the cursor which is pretty good considering the smoothing option is only on 
but for some edges you know i had to straighten them out smoothen them out manually but it works out i don't it's not really much of a struggle uh so for my conclusion for the conclusion you get some pros the pros are good build quality and it doesn't feel cheap at all so that's a big plus for me since i'm a i'm a picky user so yeah next is uh it's very affordable for only 35 bucks you're getting a lot a lot of nibs uh a pen stand a pen case some nib removers otg cables and yeah it's actually pretty good for at this price point you won't find anything else that's as good as this tablet i'm just being honest so and the next pros are comes with a lot of freebies we've already talked about that and it's compact and slim oh you can also bring it anywhere bring it anywhere and basically use it on any device except samsung phones and i think chromebooks so yeah and the cons are i've already talked about this one and it's the undetachable cable for me since i don't like i don't find it very appealing it's already like 2021 2020 so come on i, li I like the tablet but i don't i'm not i'm not a fan of the undetachable cable but it's just it's just a a picky complaint a privilege you know and unfortunately i've talked about this earlier that it is not supported by Hoku yet this is mainly for osu players but if you're drawing uh there should be no problem for it and if you're just a casual osu player like me you're not a professional you can use their vic driver it's also pretty good so just want to put it out there and overall i'd rate this tablet a hmm a solid 4.5 out of 5 so yeah if you ask me if you want to buy this tablet i'd say just go for it man there's nothing better than this at this price price point you know so yeah big thanks to week and thank you for watching please leave a like and please subscribe thank you